Vin invited me for a drink on the other side. Just pretend like I'm not even here. She's just so hot. Hmm. Must be game night. All right, this was... Wow. This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but... Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh... I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. No, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Thing is, everyone's a fuck up. Every last one of us. Even you. Reggie, I'm the biggest fuck up I know. Well, if the great Max Caulfield is a fuck up. I guess there are worse things to be. Thanks, Max. Anytime. This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but he doesn't look good exactly. Is it really a good? Yes. That's how soft you felt about the poetry. This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. Hey. Hey yourself. How are we feeling? Not to give you an oh, crisis. You know, but I'm, I'm a break. I could die. Still don't feel shitty enough to drink beer. Rationally terrified of telescopes. So if you're not gonna go work a plush consulting job, does that mean I can't be your house husband? Derek, you don't even like girls. You're never going to be my house husband. Besides, you can't cook. Ooh, be nice to me. I'm getting a PhD in anthropology. Do you think your job prospects are bad? To hell with the job market. There's Vin. Exactly where he said he Come here often? Oh, you're here. You invited me. I guess I did. That feels about 40 years ago.
help yourself. <laughs> Day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tafi. Tafi used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Tafi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. Honestly... Yeah. I would like to know. If only so I know how to act around you. See? Well, then I'm definitely glad nobody told you. I don't want pity. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... an alien? Like... the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them? I think you fucked up. Maybe. I weighed a salary against my ethical footprint, and I decided I wanted to get paid. And I'll make a living photographing roller coasters. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame them. Oh, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of what? She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, 
Smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She's a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Just... <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yes, me. Now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. My turn again. Let's see, who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? Hey, Miss Caulfield, where do I fall on the binary? Whatever, I'm drunk. treats me like her second daughter, even after everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Or Vin said he'd be here too. In the dead world, turtle. There's Gwen. I should tell her about that weird- Hey, Gwen. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Um, I hope... Just... Take care. Just talk to me, Safi. Tell me what's happening. in the Max Journal. Hot stuff definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Wanna swap places? God, I'm so lonely. I should talk to somebody. Amanda said she wanted to see me. Ben did tell me he'd be here.
God, I'm so lonely. I should talk to somebody. Looks like nobody's having a great night. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. Do you ever have a thing for the wrong person? So much that you've noticed, but I've done other dumb shit for love. So see? I told you she's a pro. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on and he's right. I just I haven't felt this way with anyone ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. But he's having a great night. Watching her work. Oh shit, that's. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. But old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a 
gasoline on fire flavor experience or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste. Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Jenny Mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <sighs> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. It's fine. Seriously, I don't need company while I wade through this self-pity swamp. Oh, which is why you're at a popular bar. The best spot for a solo self-pity party. Come on! Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Wars only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the Rat Hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the Rat Hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is Alpex smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. <laughs> Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and Back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. I ain't And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's hang back and watch the crowd. <laughs> or I got us two Roman Cokes. Now hold on just one minute. Is this... Pepsi? Damn it. Again? Eddie! We talked about this. <laughs> hey.
Okay, the singer. Is she a stage diver? Hmm, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she would land. <laughs> Mag, you weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. No time to think. Okay, she crashes into you. You both go down. Uh, I'm so hardcore. But the singer jumps right back up. You're dazed, but I pull you to your feet. <sighs> Was that chewing gum before? Bad ass. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half-smoked blunt, a solo cup that once contained a rum and coke, and the piece of gum that was inside the front woman's actual mouth. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence will make things worse for everyone around me. Keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before. And I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, it's a You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Sorry, did I? Do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck.
When do you get off? About an hour. Uh... But before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um... I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. Goddamn. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, no. I... I have to get back to it. Pretend like I'm not even here. I wish Zavi... She's just so... hot. This was cute, but... Wow. I didn't know this pen was such a... Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh... I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. No, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Thing is, everyone's a fuck up. Every last one of us. Even you. Reggie, I'm the biggest fuck up I know. Well, if the great Max Caulfield is a fuck-up, I guess there are worse things to be. Thanks, Max.
This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but he doesn't look good exactly. So, are you gonna take the visionary ventures gig? This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I hey. Hey yourself. I'm leaning towards now. How are we feeling? Damn, that's not what I expected. Oh, what you changed? Know, I'm upright. It was I made pasta easy, for okay? him since he wasn't really eating. Oh, lucky guy. Your spaghetti alla carbonara made me see God. And he wrote me this really sweet note. This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. How can I give all that up? <sighs> Moses, Caledon, the astron. Come here often? Oh, you're here. You invited me. I guess I did. That feels about 40 years ago. Help yourself. Day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. Honestly... I would like to know. If only so I know how to act around you. See? Well, then I'm definitely glad nobody told you. I don't want pity. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young. I was an asshole. And I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... an alien? Like... The shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them. I think you fucked up. Maybe. I weighed a salary against my ethical footprint, and I decided I wanted to get paid. And I'll make a living photographing roller coasters. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? What? 
No. I mean, we were talking, and then Safi happened, and I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh, that's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once. I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me a double slip experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She has a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Just... <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass.
Thank you.